Susan Winter with uh, True Living Shows, which comes through via Sky Cable TV. Uh, today we are continuing on our topic of depression. Uh, we had tackled depression on uh, previous episodes, and um, I can repeat again and say, what is depression? Depression is when somebody doesn't feel good about themselves, uh, when somebody is feeling low, when somebody doesn't have enough energy for a long time, when there is a deep, deep uh, sadness with that person, when that person turned to be antisocial, and when somebody also have some psychiat psychiatric issues, like, you know, like psychosis, um, and then withdraw from people, from, you know, social circles, from family, um, that's part of being depressed. So um, we are continuing on that topic, but for today we are talking about relationship between alcoholism and depression because they go together. And we, as we had studied before and talked about, 30 to 40% of people who are depressed, they also um, abuse alcohol because they take the alcohol for too long, they also take it moderately or they take it too much. So that's why we have this subtopic of uh, depression and alcoholism. And um, on this video, we, we are continuing on asking questions which, you know, they relate with the depression and, and um, alcoholism because they go together. And we just want to separate between these two things, but they also go hand in hand. So that's why I'm just bringing it so that we can be able to separate things so that we can also know alcoholism is also a disease. We never talked about it. Depression is another disease like any other disease, but because our community, our people, most people, they don't like talking about um, mental health issues they don't like talking about depression. They don't like talking about alcoholism, but all these problems are here and they are with us. And as we'll be talking uh, in the future about most of mental health diseases, uh, I would like to be talking uh, one by one and also talking about each disease with alcoholism. Because when you take alcohol, and at the same time you abuse alcohol and you have depression, you have bipolar, and all these other mental health diseases, then uh, things will be turning bad to worse, you know, and you d we don't want things to go to worse uh, because of alcoholism. So because alcohol makes most mental uh, issues worse, they also make uh, the medication which are taken for these medications to be worse. What I mean by worse is alcohol makes most of the side effects of those drugs, especially antidepressant and especially anti-anxiety. But for this video, we are talking about depression, so we'll talk about anti-depression. And then leave anti-anxiety for the day we'll talk about anxiety. But we also know that sometimes when somebody is depressed, they can also be anxious. But let's go back uh, to how we'll do this video. So I'll be asking a question, and then you as a viewer, you can answer it to yourself, but I'll also be explaining it here on the video. So our first question, which I would like to ask, um, is what, they are, what are the early signs of liver damage from alcohol? Very, very well we know when people abuse alcohol, they become drunkards for a long, long time. They take or consume a uh, large amount of alcohol, moderate or, you know, too much. Uh, then the river is the first one to be affected. And we know very well that the river is a vital organ of our body. And the river does a lot of things. You know, we know that's where most of our foods are m m metabolized. 
So the liver river is very crucial. And that's why when people, they abuse alcohol, they use too much alcohol or any other, you know, other drugs, because those, the alcohol passes through the river. That's why the liver usually have problems. And the river have, you know, it's, it's a vital, vital organ, I, I had said. And that's why when people abuse alcohol or they use alcohol for a long time, they get the cirrhosis of the river. They get the hepatitis of the liver. And, and can you imagine what are the signs or the early signs of um, liver damage by alcohol? They might be, fam they might sound like also, um, also like some of the symptoms of depression. So let me tell you uh, some of the, some of the symptoms or signs of liver damage by alcohol. Uh, some of them is the, you have fatigue which also when you are depressed also, you have low energy, you have fatigue. Then another one is an explained weight loss. So that's part of alcohol. But also when somebody is depressed, some people also lose weight because they don't like eating. You know, they don't feel like themselves. So can you imagine you have that problem of the river because of the alcohol? And then on top, you are depressed, then you, 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 have, you lose weight because of the depression. Or you are fatigued. And then you add low energy because you are depressed. So it also becomes bad. Another one is loss of appetite. When you take alcohol for a long time, uh, your liver, you know, it, has, it brings those symptoms of loss of appetite. And also we know that when you are depressed also, you can either go either way. You can have a lot of appetite, you eat too much, then you, you get overweight, or you can lose appetite, then you don't have any appetite. And then another one, you feel nauseous and, and you are vomiting when you take a lot of alcohol. Um, and also can also make it worse when you are depressed. You are depressed, you lose weight, then um, th then you are fatigued, then you have uh, an explained weight loss, and then you bring the depression part of it, which has similar, like th the three of them here, you know, um, they are similar, you know, on the depression and on the alcohol side. And then another one is the swelling of your liver, you know, so that part of uh, the alcohol abuse, if you take alcohol and then you add it to depression. So it, it means that when you take alcohol and then when you're depressed, you make matters worse, you know, even physically you won't be good. And then emotionally and mentally you are down. So. So alcohol makes depression worse than you would think. So another question I would like to, uh, to, to ask, does the river repair itself after you stop drinking? Um, that question I would answer it slowly. So if it has not gone to extreme, you know, you can, it can repair, you know, a liver can repair easily let's say you stop drinking today, you haven't been drinking for a long, long time, so things will start improving. But if you have been drinking for a long time, you have bad cirrhosis of the river, then it will be very hard, you know, to improve. But it will be always, always, always good, you know, to, to stop drinking, you know, for, for the betterment of the river. It doesn't mean if you have gone so far, then you continue. They, they will always be that better, better, you know, if you stop drinking. Then another question I would, I would like to ask um, about depression, you know. Um, how do you feel? What, what do you think? What do you think would make matters better? Let's say you, as I had told you before, people, uh, when they drink, you know, they drink to feel better. 
but they will feel better for a moment. So the question I would ask, if I get drunk and I'm depressed, how can I make myself feel better, you know, or, or sober up quickly? So let's say you find your person who is depressed, is drinking too much, and then you want to help them. Or them themselves, they realize that they are making it worse. So the best thing they can do is start taking a lot of water, you know, at that particular time. Take a lot of, uh, like, coffee, you know, it can sober them better. Um, relax and, and rest. And then completely stop, you know, taking alcohol. And then also eating food. And especially foods with a lot of fruits, let's say like fruits, you know, somebody can start taking a lot of fruits, you know, to sober them up, to make them feel better, you know. Um, and then it, it, it's a good thing if, you know, you, 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 you have been drinking or you're drunk, don't take any drugs, don't take, you know, antidepressants. And if you know you're going to drink, it's better even that morning or that evening you don't take the drugs because as I had explained to you that when you take the drugs, the antidepressants, their side effects become even stronger. You become more dizzy, you become more, you know, you, um, dizzy, as I had said, drowsiness. You know, so the best thing is to stop drinking or to stop taking the drugs if you already know. So if you are staying with somebody who, who, who takes alcohol and they are also depressed, so the best thing is to advise them, don't take those drugs for antidepressant because instead of even those antidepressant helping that person, then they make that person more drunk. They make that person, you know, um, make things worse, which sometimes uh, those drugs, uh, they can make them, you know, get sick. They can also, you know, c they can even commit suicide because of the side effects of it. Or they can even get worse than they are. So that's why never, never, never take alcohol and antidepressant at the same time. And for now, we'll just take a break and then we'll come back and talk more about depression. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. And then you can also press the likes button and we'll continue from there.